So today I'm photographing uh, these food pouches. They're a silicon pouch and they can be quite challenging because they are clear um, and they are very light in colour. But because we're doing a website images, um, it's important to get the white background right. So what I've done here, there's a few things to um, show you with this setup. Number one is that I have a seamless um, background. So that means instead of my normal thing that I show you is the foam board that is flat and then a board, that gives me a line in the back of all my images. So I don't want that this time because I want to have a perfectly white image. So what I've got is a background paper, which is a roll, um, and that gives me a nice gentle slope and it won't give me a really hard line at the back of the image. Another thing I'm doing is I am shooting with an off-camera flash, which means that I do not have to worry about studio lights. So what can happen um, when you've got studio lights is that you're always tripping over them for a start, but also you can you shoot one way and then you have to get up and move all your lights around to be able to shoot another way. Using an off-camera flash means that I can shoot this angle, then I can climb up and I can do my uh, flat looking down, my flat lay, all using this flash. It's going to light up my image perfectly. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm filling in all the vacant space, all the white empty space in my image with little extras. So because I've got all fruit theme here in all of these bags, I'm using grapes and almonds just to fill in the white gaps around it. So you'll see from the image that I'm going to share with you that that's a really good way just to fill in any white vacant, vacant space when you're trying to do a big um, group shot like this. And you've got the products all need to be set out so that you can see each product because each product is a different size. So they want to see that as a collection. And then I'm just using the empty white space and using grapes and almonds to fill it in. So off camera flash, sloped background this time. I have got some daylight coming in, but I'm not relying on that. I'm definitely relying on my flash this time. And as you can see, I've got lots of fruit and vegetables and I'm just cutting it up and I'm using them in each of these display packs to show you. So have a go at trying to do a flat way, this time using a sloped background. Especially good if you don't want to do a flat image and you have an image that, um, a product that stands upright, having it uh, with a background that's sloped, it means that you won't have any distraction from 